Hello there and welcome to AMH Tech SL. In this video, I am going to show you how you can install Google Play Store in your Windows 11. So let's get started. It doesn't matter whether it's an Android game, social media or whatever apps you need. Google Play Store is the one stop shop to get all of your apps. And as Windows has released a new feature, you are able to run Android apps on your Windows 11. So Play Store is waiting for you. And if you are new to my channel, don't forget to press the subscribe button and press the bell icon for more notifications. Let's jump into the video. Warning. To create a restore point, click on the start button and then type restore and then click on create a restore point. Next click on create and then give a name for your restore point. So I'm going to give a restore. then click on create and the restore point has been created successfully after the system restore point has been created click on close So if you already have any version of Windows subsystem for Android, you should uninstall it by clicking the start menu and then click on all apps and scroll down till Windows subsystem for Android. Next right click it and click on uninstall and click on uninstall again. Click on the start menu and then search for developer options. After that click on developer settings. After you have opened the developer settings, turn on install apps from any source and then click on yes and then close the settings page after that click on your control panel and then click on programs and then turn windows features on no off In this window, you will have to enable two features. So the first thing I'm going to enable is the virtual machine platform and the hypervisor platform. and next click on OK. So now it is searching for the required files. Let's wait for it to finish. So now the two features has finished installing on your computer so we would need to restart our computer so now I'm going to click on restart now after you have restarted your computer 
I have provided three links in the description where the first one is the WSA package, the Windows subsystem for Android package and then the next is the kernel file and next is the SDK platform tools link. So I'm going to download the WSA package by clicking on the download button. And next I'm going to download the kernel that also by clicking the download button. And finally I'm going to download the SDK platform tools. So click on the link which says download SDK platform tools for Windows and then accept the terms and conditions and then download Android SDK platform tools for Windows. So after you have finished downloading all three files, next navigate to your downloads folder. After that you will have to extract the WSA package. So I am going to right click it. And then click on show more options and click on extract files. After that I am going to click on new folder and then click on OK. Alright so now the WSA package has successfully extracted in a new folder. So next we will have to navigate to the downloads folder again and then right click the platform tools and then click on show more options and then click on extract files. After that click on new folder and then click on ok. So after you have done all the extraction, copy the kernel file and then open WSA package folder and then open the tools folder and then paste the kernel file here. So it will ask you to replace the file in the destination. So click on replace the file in the destination. So next you will have to click on the downloads folder and open the WSA package folder. Next open the next folder as well. And now double click the address bar and copy the address. And now click the start button and then type PowerShell. Next right click the PowerShell and run as administrator. Next click on yes in the pop up window. After that type 
CD and right click to copy the path and then press enter. Next I have given the command in the description so you will have to copy it. You will have to copy it. And then right click to paste it and press enter. And the WSA is being installed on your system. After it has finished installing, next close the PowerShell tab and click on start and click the Windows subsystem for Android. Next, turn on developer mode and then click on files and then next untick share the, my diagnostic data I don't like to share my data and then click on continue and then the WSA starts to load. Next after it has finished loading click the start menu and then click on play store. After the Google Play Store has been loaded, when I click the sign in button, I am unable to sign in to my Google Play Store. So I have a quick trick where you can fix this problem. Next, click on this PC. And click the downloads icon. And then open the platform tools extracted folder and open the other folder as well. Next double click the address bar and press backspace. Next type in CMD. Next type ADB connect and then open the WSA application and under the IP address click on copy and then right click to paste it and press enter. Next type ADB shell and press enter. Next type in SU and press enter. And then I have provided a command in the description. So you will have to copy it and then right click to paste it and then press enter. Next reopen the play store by clicking the start button and then clicking on the play store icon.
नेक्स्ट क्लिक ऑन साइन इन Next, enter your email and password and then click on sign in and follow the on-screen instructions. After inputting all your credentials, next, hover your mouse to the I agree button and click on it. And now we have successfully installed Play Store on Windows 11. If you ended up screwing up your computer by installing the Windows subsystem for Android, then don't worry, we got you covered. If you had followed step number one, then we can take your computer back to how it was before installing the windows subsystem for android so click the start button and then type restore point and then click on system restore next click on select a different restore point and then select the backup which we had created in the step 1 and then click next and then finish and follow the steps which are on your screen thank you for watching my video and please like comment subscribe and share this video with your friends and family